Hi everyone. This is Kevin from Drone Aviation. This is the second video of the series Drone Programming with Pluto Blocks. In this video we are going to learn a lot more about the basic blocks that we see on the screen. Let's go. In the previous video we understood how to extract the Pluto blocks which is a block programming software using which you can make interesting projects on Pluto Nano drone. In this video we will be exploring the blocks, understand how they work and what all are their functions. Okay, so let us begin. This is the home screen that you can see. This is a test that I had created previous time. Uh, I can make changes in the same one or you can create the other one. So I'll change the rename this is what I will be doing. Uh, we can name it as basic blocks. So uh, if you want to change this, I'll just delete this block. Okay. Let us begin by first understanding these three blocks that we see on the screen. The first one is on start. Now this on start block is executed once when you are turning on the developer mode from the Pluto controller app. So whatever you put inside this is going to be executed just once when you turn on the developer mode. After this, the main block that is Pluto loop is going to be executed. Now all your main logic will be done in this Pluto loop. It is going to be executed continuously at every 100 milliseconds that you can see. Now this number is obviously changeable. Uh, we will be figuring out when to change and what are the effects of changing this number, the uh, loop frequency. But for now just understand that yes, this can be changed. Okay. So uh, the main logic of the project will come inside this loop. And then comes the last one, on stop. In this on stop, you will whatever you code will be executed again just once. Uh, that is when you turn off the developer mode. Okay. So let me just clean up the blocks. Okay. So now let us understand the blocks provided on the left side of the screen. Uh, to do this, I guess the best way would be to execute basic projects, basic, simple, easy projects. So let us start. LED is pretty much easy to understand. Whatever LED you select, that LED you can turn on or off or you can stay, keep it in a toggle state. Uh, for command, uh, so command blocks obviously contains commands to control your drone. So let us take an example. I'll be take, uh, using takeoff block. I will keep it in the on start block and then I'll take the land and I'll place it in the on stop. So essentially what this means is when you connect with the drone and as soon as you press the developer mode, the takeoff block will be executed. So the drone essentially will take off. And as soon as you turn off the developer mode, the land block will be executed. And so the drone will land. Uh, we can try executing this. So let us first build the project. Uh, in the previous video, we uh, understood how the building process occurs. Uh, in case you have any doubts on what this is, you can check out our previous video. Now after building, we will be flashing the project. So I will switch on the drone. And simultaneously, I will connect with the uh, Wi-Fi. Let me connect with the Wi-Fi. So the project has been built. The Wi-Fi is also connected. So I'll flash the project. Uh, yes, it is not connected with the app. And the execution as the flashing has started. And after the flashing is done, which is finished now, uh, the flashing is done. So now we can execute the project. So what uh, we will be doing is we will connect the drone with our mobile phone. And uh, after we connect the phone, 
will give some space to the drone so that uh, it can be uh, take it can take off safely so after connecting i will first arm the drone uh, through the arm switch that is present on the app and whenever i am ready i can simply press the developer mode and the drone starts taking off and when i press the developer mode again to switch off the developer mode the drone lands so this is a very basic project that we can execute so that's an easy project uh, now let us understand more uh, we can we can make another project so first i delete all this okay uh, now um, what we can do is we can go in logic and let us select a if do block okay now i am going again uh, in uh, logic and i'll select the comparator block and i'll place it over here next you can go in remote control and you can select rc pitch and place it over here then you can go in map take the number block and place it over here change the equal to sign to greater than and change the numbers to 1500 1500 okay and in the do block what we will do is we will place a red led and keep it on okay now what i want you to do is uh, in this settings icon that you see uh, you can select another block else if and place it over here okay what i will do is i can copy paste I will control C control V this block and place it over here I'll just change the sign to less than I'll also copy paste the LED block over here and I'll change the status from on to off okay uh, now if you're wondering where did the on stop uh, block go then you can just use clean up blocks okay here it is so using this project what i want to do is uh, if rc pitch rc pitch is the input that we are giving this rc pitch would be taken from our phone that is pluto controller app so the pitch stick that you we have on the pluto controller app if that is greater than 1500 which is essentially saying that if the rc pitch stick moves forward then red led should be on if rc pitch stick is less than 1500 which means if the rc pitch stick is moving backwards then red led should be off and that is essentially this project okay so we are going to be uh, let us quickly build and flash and we can see the execution the firmware is flashed successfully okay uh, now let us execute so let us connect the drone uh, with the app and uh, let us press the developer mode button now if i move this uh, pitch stick forward the red led turns on and if i move the pitch stick backwards the red led turns off instead of this pitch stick you could have different options uh so if we come back to the remote control uh, blocks you can see we have rc roll yaw and throttle as well as another options so uh, instead of pitch you could use any of these and you just have to move those sticks the midpoint value uh, the rest value is always 1500 and the range goes from 1000 to 2000 so if it is above 1500 it is forward if it is below 1500 it is uh, backwards Now to make it more interesting, what I'm going to do is I'll use another LED. I'll use a green LED, and I'll place it in both the parts. So in the first part, what I want is a red LED should be on. So I'll turn off the green LED at that point. In the second part, I want green to be on and red to be off. Okay. So now I will build this project and flash. Let us execute this project. So again I'll connect with the Pluto controller app. I'll turn on the developer mode. And now when I move the pitch stick forward, I can see a red LED is on and if I move the pitch stick backwards, 
i can see the green led is on so making small changes uh, you can see how they reflect on the drone so i guess uh, uh, we we will we should end this video over here uh, in the next video again we'll be building on these types of projects and understand more about other blocks and figure out uh, um, interesting projects thereafter so till then uh, i would suggest you all please give it a try you can uh, build your own projects and see uh, what you can do with it or with all these blocks and please let us know if you have any doubts if you are doing something interesting let us know everything about it in the comments section please like uh, and share this video with other drone enthusiasts people who want to learn about drone programming this is a very good stepping stone good place to begin your drone journey drone programming journey so learning these few basics will definitely help uh, uh, people to learn more complex parts of the drone programming so i guess that's it and uh, see you next time with other new projects